Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today I wanted to talk about my New Year's resolutions because it's officially January 1st. I actually tried to look back and do a like, did I succeed in my New Year's resolutions for 2019, but I didn't, I mean, yeah, my 2019 ones, um, but I didn't actually make any, but I did read a, I did watch my looking back at 2018 ones, and I have a cold in that video too, so apparently I have a cold at the end of every year slash the beginning of every year, um, so that's great, but I wanted to go through my New Year's resolutions with you, and some of them are like health related, some of them are not, some of them are t completely separate, all that stuff, so let's just get right into this. I'm excited. So the first resolution that I have is I want abs by June 2020. That's my goal. We are going to Costa Rica in June for our first trip out of the country together, me and Matt, along with my family on my dad's side. So I'm very excited about that and I want abs. I want to see some ab definition. Um, some things that I'm doing this year to help with this is I just tried out Bloom Nutrition's protein powder. I've done protein powder in the past, but I do find that I do get some bloat. So this new one that I'm trying is supposed to reduce bloating because it's way isolate or uh, isolate um, and it's by Mari from Mari Fitness you're gonna hear her name a lot because she is one of the people that I really follow a lot along with Sarah from Sarah's day on YouTube so Mari also has a fitness guide um, nutrition guide and she has bands for working out with and I bought a like little combo pack of the nutrition guide the first gym guide and one of her bands so I'm getting all of that in the mail I don't really know which kind of like diet I'm gonna be doing but I know it's worked for me in the past and Mari from Mari Fitness also talks a lot about this which is just like following your macros and like um, calorie counting but not specifically like keto or anything so I'm gonna try that first and see what that gets me and then we I'm I've looked into keto I know keto is not a long-term diet that's definitely like something you got to do short term because it can get really unhealthy really fast so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet but um, just looking at like how to lose fat and then how to gain muscle for sure are the <coughs> those are both really something that I want to do this year. My next one kind of transitioning into this is eating healthy. So definitely I already talked about how like there's a nutrition guide that comes along with that combo I bought but I also would really like to look into some cookbooks that I want to get into. Um, so if you have any cookbook recommendations, I have Thug Kitchen. I'm not vegan or vegetarian or anything. I'm not any of that but I do have the kitchen which is a vegan one and if you have any suggestions for some healthy cookbooks I would love to hear them and then I also have been looking at Pinterest and stuff something that I want to do starting after January 1st so tomorrow January 2nd is I want to do sobriety which is just alcohol that's the only drug of choice that I have as of right now but I do want to do sobriety for the month of January me and Matt have done this in the past we usually do it at the end of the year right before the holidays but this year we didn't do it and I want do it in January just to really kick off this whole like dieting thing too um, and I've also been noticing that like one I haven't been drinking as much so that's already good um, but like it kind of I don't know it's just it's I want to I like to challenge myself and like drinking is such a social thing in like my social circles at least so like I want I want to know that I can say no, I guess, so that's part of it, I think. I'm really setting myself and holding myself accountable to four videos a week, two on this channel and two on my booktube channel. If you're interested, it's linked down below, but I want to be posting two times a week on this channel, two times a week on that channel, regularly, consistently, and everything. Um, and with my channel, I really would love to hit, this is a big one, but I want to hit 10,000 subscribers on both my channels by the end of the year. They're new, but I want to do it. I want that. I'm manifesting that into my life. 10,000 subscribers on both channels by the end of the year. Okay, so I finished my program for ASL interpreting in June, and I want one of two things, and I'm not sure which one will happen because I'm open to both of these roads, but I either want to be interpreting by the end of the year, I want to be in a job that is interpreting by the end of the year, or I want to make a very big promotion in the company I work for. 
and I don't know which one will happen, but I either want a giant promotion, I want to have had a promotion by the end of the year in my job that I have now, or I want to be interpreting by the end of the year. One of those is going to happen. I want to read every book that I'm reading for 10 minutes every day. I started that in the vlog that I posted most recently on my second channel. Um, so it's usually going to be 20 to 30 minutes a day, depending on if I have an ebook and a physical book or just one. But I want to be reading that much every day. Are you leaving yet? Hey, you should pour me a glass of champagne. Cheers to the whole sober thing starting tomorrow. I also, I don't know. This one is like almost the hard, these, these next two are like almost the hardest things for me, I think. Um, but I really want to try to meditate for five minutes a day. I've never done that before. And I also want to try to journal every day. And I've also never done that before. So I want to get into the habit, even if it's just like setting intentions every day or saying something that I'm grateful for every day. Like... I want to try to get into that habit. Another thing I want to do this year, so we're obviously saving for the trip to Costa Rica that I mentioned, so we do have to save in, up until May for that, but I want to save at least another thousand dollars by the end of the year. I am really bad at saving money. I like have my 401k and like all of that, you know, the things that I can't control, it's like out of my pocket already. All of that is good to go and done. I'm not so great at putting money away myself, um, and so I want to do that. And then the last thing that I want to do is like a huge clean out of all of our shit. I want to get rid of a bunch of stuff. I want to get rid of all the clothes that don't fit. Like, I don't need to be holding on to clothes that don't fit me. I don't need to be holding on to clothes that like have holes in them or that anything. Like, no, they need to all go out. Um, I have a bunch of stuff in like our closet that's like our storage. I want all that gone. There's a bunch of shit under our bed that I want gone. We are doing a huge cleaning, and I guess we can call it spring cleaning because by this point, by the time we really probably finish it, it'll be spring cleaning, but it's all getting out and going away. So, and I want to try to do the Marie Kondo method with that. I want to try to reorganize as well as clean out and try to use the Marie Kondo method. That is everything that I want to do in the year of 2020. The big ones are for sure, like I have some big goals for career-wise and money-wise and channel-wise and whole life-wise. The little things, I don't know. I'm, I'm like scared about that too, but I'm really motivated. The year, I the, the word that has come to my mind throughout this like thinking about 2020 and what it's going to be is total motivation like I am energized to get shit done this year and so it's going to be the year that a lot of things happen and that's what I'm putting out into the universe and the next video that I'm going to be posting is going to be about manifestation so if you're interested in manifesting and what that means and all that stuff you can learn with me because it's a new concept to me but I am really really enjoying it that is the list of my new year's resolutions for 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave me comments down below what are your 2020 resolutions i would love to hear about them that is everything for this video you can follow me on all my social media linked in the description down below please like this video if you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already and i will see you guys very soon with a new video bye i love you all